Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. I do see you connecting here with a very evolved and mature um, partner here. This is someone who's very emotionally mature. They have a lot of emotional intelligence. They are emotionally in control. I see them having a, um, very, very controlled over their emotions. And this person has a lot of compassion towards you. They are very empathic is what I am seeing. And they feel a very strong... Um, spiritual and intuitive connection to you this person has a lot of compassion to you uh, i do see that there is unconditional love so this is someone who who you know or someone who um, is close to you is what i'm seeing um, even if you're not in um, a relationship with this person this person genuinely has heartfelt sincere feelings and emotions towards you this person they feel for you is what i'm seeing they feel they can feel your there's this intuitive connection where they can feel your pain, your happiness, they, they, they can sense that on a soul level. So I do see that this is someone who is very um, empathic when it comes to you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Cancer. Okay, so the first card we have here is the King of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next we have the Three of Swords. So this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And finally, we have the Knights of Swords, air energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so with this three of swords, I am seeing some sort of pain, heartbreak here. Um, I do see that this could be um, somewhat of a triangle, a love triangle. Um, we do have two kings showing up here. So we have this king of pentacles who is um, someone who is also... Um, a good partner a good ideal partner someone who has a lot to offer i am seeing this as someone who is very um materially stable materially abundant um they could even be very well off financially um i, I do see this as someone who has a lot to offer but this person they may be a bit stoic in their um how they deal with their emotions they may not be the most emotionally expressive um and that this really contrasts with that king of cups person who is showing up as someone who's very emotionally expressive and emotionally in control and aware of their emotions i see the king of pentacles as a more um practical person who um they they prefer to use actions to show you their love and um they they are also very giving i do see them as someone who um who may spoil you with material gifts and um someone who who is very giving but i do still see the king of pentacles as someone who is spiritual i just don't see them as um very emotional uh but i do see that they are interested in you so you could be having two people here who are interested in you uh, is what i'm seeing um but with that knight of swords i do see this as someone who um who is trying to win you back so this is why I'm saying I see a bit of a love triangle here because this Knight of Swords person, um, this is someone who may have lost you in some way. Um, they may have, they may have been some sort of fallout or heartbreak 
relating to that person and this is them now wanting to rush in to win back the connection wanting to win back their lover and i do see that they also want to express some sort of truth they don't want you to get away from them is what i'm seeing so they are very eager there is almost even a hasty energy they may even come across a bit aggressive about getting this truth out they want to really um you know express something to you and i do see this as someone who is a little bit um they they are not as mature as the other two options because they are still showing up as a knight but i see that this knight of swords person this is someone who you you have history with this is someone who you've dealt with whereas with this king of cups and this king of pentacles energy i see those people as um you may they may be people that you know about but i don't see that you've really seriously pursued a relationship with them but this is someone who you had a relationship with and some somewhere things went wrong um somewhere there was a hurt situation and you guys may have fallen out and this is them wanting to come back and win you over okay so let's clarify these cards cancer Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the three of cups so this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this energy i do see friendship energy so i am seeing that um this king of cups person i see this as someone who is you may view them as a friend right now um there is some sort of a friendship between you guys is what i'm seeing and um you may have never really explored the possibility of a romantic connection but i do see a lot of platonic love but this person actually has deeper feelings towards you than just friendship but i do see that for some reason there is currently you guys know each other as friends but this person has feelings that are way more deep than that and i do see um, they may not have expressed this to you before that they have romantic feelings for you they may have kept this to themselves but i do see this as someone who's always been quietly in your corner um, and it's they, they they've actually admired you for a long time and um they've always wanted more with you but there is something that held them back from expressing romantic feelings instead i do see them having showed love there is unconditional love on this person's part but they actually feel for you more than just friends so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so the first card we have here is the three of swords in the reverse so this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy next we have the king of pentacles showing up again earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy and finally we have the death card so this is scorpio energy you could be dealing with a scorpio okay so i am seeing this king of cups as someone who was there for you during hard times they may have even witnessed this heartbreak situation and this is someone who comforted you someone who was there for you emotionally i do see this someone who um who's been there for your healing journey they may have even helped you out so this is someone who really really cares for you very nurturing towards you and um i do see that they they were there for you when you were overcoming some sort of heartbreak and um with this king of pentacles i do see this again as someone who's new someone who has a lot to offer they are very stable very well resourced this is someone who has a lot to offer and um they are the other kind of partner who a lot of people would want to be in connection with um they they have that look they they've got it all together this is someone who um who favors long-term relationships this is someone who is capable of committing and when they commit they are all in they give their all to the connection they work hard they put in effort but they only commit to things that they feel will work out and i do see that they are interested in you this is someone who is really supportive of you so i do see a lot of support here for you 
Um, with this Knight of Swords and this Death card, I do see um, a transformation. This this relationship with this Knight of Swords person, even though there was a lot of pain and heartbreak there, I do see that there was also a lot of transformation energy. This could have been some something like a, a karmic relationship um, with this Death card showing up. I do see a lot of transformation. You changed a lot as a result of that, but I do see that it was a painful changing process. And with this death card, you could even be um, closing that chapter. Um, you could be ending it um, if you decide to, because I do see it's up to you because this person is still interested in you. They're still coming towards you. This could be an ending to the situation or just a transformation of the situation. You could be just changing the dynamic of the relationship um, with this death card. But I do see you having um, these three options here showing up. One of them you may have thought was just a friend is what I'm seeing. You'll recognize them as someone who's always been there for you emotionally. They've always been a shoulder to cry on and you may have always viewed them as a friend and had you know um, unconditional love there for that person. That person actually has deeper feelings for you than just friendship and then there's this king of pentacles person who i see as someone who you'll recognize because they'll be very well resourced they have a lot to offer and um they they are very stable is what i'm seeing and then this knights of swords is someone who you've dealt with in the past and there was a lot of a pain i'm seeing a karmic relationship a lot of heartbreak and hurt so um that person is that person is going to want to rush things, is what I'm seeing with that Knight of Swords. Um, they are also going to want to speak some sort of truth, trying to reach you, um, trying to win you back. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. So I am going to pull out an Oracle card for you. Okay, so the card says, time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Okay, so I do see that this may be a bit overwhelming, having all of these people. I do see that um, only you can choose what you want to do in this situation. This person in particular, I do see that they may come through with an overwhelming energy. Um, just because they are showing up as very hasty and um, aggressive, like wanting to move things on very quickly. And there's just a lot of intensity when it comes to this person. So I do see that you may feel a bit overwhelmed and, um, you know, just taken by how intense things are. And um, also finding out about this person who you may have for the longest time viewed as a friend. There is just a lot going on here. And I also do still see you in your healing process or healing journey. So, um, you are being advised to take time to breathe out. Um, I do see that, you, that you're really in a deciding position right here. It's up to you how you want to um, work th with this energy. So you can trust yourself, but you are being advised to take time to just listen to your own inner voice and to breathe out. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.